Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Norman Network. And today we're going to be just reviewing a small little Lego set. Might do something a little bit bigger later today. I don't know. Stay tuned for that. But we are going to be reviewing the small Lego Space Shuttle from the newer Lego Space line. Uh, so why don't we uh, start with a bigger build actually this time. Change it up a little bit and start with the actual ship. So, this design is not what I expected. This set is uh, only $16 Canadian, $12 US, and you can figure out from there. And uh, it's a lot bigger. Like, here it is compared to my hand. And that's, it's like the size of my hand, which is not something you would really expect from a $16 set. Uh, now, of course, it's only got one minifigure, but this is quite a solid little uh, thing here. It's only got two stickers, which is really nice, and it adds just amount, the amount of detail you need, which is uh, this Mars emblem, which is, of course, based off of the uh, original LEGO Space Line, and that's on both sides. Also along both sides of the wings, there's these little winglets, which... Uh, oh, this one just came off. You can fold all the way in, maybe if it's... Uh, just kind of orbiting. Uh, you could probably also use these as your turning maneuver if you want to go like, I think this would turn you uh, to the right and the opposite would turn you to the left. And you can also kind of change that turning maneuver with the boosters on the back, which are really, really nice. And they're just kind of uh, these uh, uh, cylinder pieces and they can kind of turn a little bit if you want. Uh, they don't actually have any fire in them, which is unfortunate, but uh, you can turn those up and they lock right here because they can't go any farther. And then the uh, protectors for those can also follow them if you want to um, do something like that, which is kind of an interesting look. But of course, it is supposed to look like that. We'll get to this big gaping hole in the back here in a minute, but let's work on the front. Uh, so there's not too much detail in the front, uh, just like what you'd expect from a spaceship. It curves in, uh, but it unfortunately kind of comes to this abrupt stop right here, which wasn't really a problem with the larger space shuttle because it was only about a tile and a half thick. But when you have it as a full uh, block and a tile thick, you can really see and it, uh, like it just it kind of takes away the aerodynamics that it really feels like it should have. Although the use of the orange here is really, really nice along the side and really brings out this cockpit. Now, uh, the canopy is done in this uh, uh, dark translucent uh, color. Uh, also, LEGO has recently changed up their plastic, so their canopies and stuff are a lot easier to scratch, so you might want to be just a little bit more careful with that. Uh, don't stick it in your pocket with a whole bunch of coins. Not that you could, would be able to fit this in your pocket anyway. Uh, and then uh, that, of course, is just hinged on the top here. It would have been nice to be able to get a doorway if we have this hole at the back, but this works fine. And the inside is not that detailed. Uh, you might notice it's made pretty large, and that's to accommodate a person with the spacesuit on, which is amazing. Thank you, Lego, for actually letting us keep our minifigures' hats and stuff on while they're inside this. That's wonderful and you see it a lot of problems with that in the smaller sets is that you have to take off their hair or their hat and especially something like this giant space helmet thing and it actually fits in here now then again you are sacrificing making it look realistic because they're going to be pretty much all the way leaned back but at least you can fit it in there real nice and with this design you also get the added bonus of it kind of looking like a miniature bed so if you wanted to have your minifigure sleeping in here, I suppose you could do that. On this side, it'll be a little hard to show you this, but it's just a basic uh, printed console piece, which is really nice to get. Uh, I use lots of these in mocks and stuff. I don't usually take apart my sets for that kind of stuff, so I don't have a ton of pieces for mocks, but they're really nice pieces. And they use a lot of them in, in this line, and it's actually a pretty old piece. So it's nice to see a comeback of some of those older pieces. The tail area right here is really nice and kind of follows this nice curvature uh, of the top of the ship. Uh, would have liked to get one more sticker right here, 
um, but that's fine. And then now we get to look at what goes in this big gaping hole at the back. And that, of course, is the satellite. Now the satellite is pretty simple. It's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces in it. And it just looks like this. It's got two stickers uh, for, uh, for it as well, and those are just little solar panel stickers. And those really look really nice on this uh, uh, navy blue uh, tile piece with the clips. And I like their inclusion of gold. Gold is a common color you'll see at a lot of uh, space ships and stuff, uh, as it's uh, like a, it's a reflective aluminum, so the uh, inside of the ship doesn't heat up to crazy amounts. Uh, there's also this dish piece right here, which there's a lot of different functions you can uh, think of this, which this could be the front and maybe it's got a telescope in it right here, or this could be like the brain of the whole operation and then this is the telescope, or this might be a radio receiver. And it's actually a relatively big satellite compared to uh, a minifigure, so that's a about minifig scale for a satellite. Some are larger, but this one in particular is um, kind of a small one. And lots of different functions you can use for this. But something that you re that's really nice about it is you just fold these up, and then you take your ship, and you unlatch these little gold side here, uh, and you can take the satellite, and I'll try to get a good angle for to demonstrate this, and you just take it and you slide it in the back here, just like so. Sometimes you need to readjust it so it fits nicer, but you just take it and slide it in, and then you can lock this. And now it almost looks like a third booster, and then you can just kind of unlatch it and out in space maybe, and uh, let your satellite float out and start doing its job which is a really cool play feature. Uh, it's not like a rubber band gimmick or anything that you'd see in a more expensive set, but it's a really simple design and really nice to actually get storage in a smaller size spaceship. Because usually you see these and they're just like, there's nothing but the cockpit and the cockpit barely works. But this one is really, really nice. I really like the builds in this set. So the minifigure you get is uh, just your basic uh, space minifigure that's from this line. Of course, you've got the older space uh, back piece, which also doubles as the helmet, and it's got uh, the Technic studs here, so if you wanted to put maybe a mechanical arm or something on them, then you could do that. And then the oxygen tanks, and I believe a stud actually fits in there, so if you want to build something with this, you can do that too. And I really like the designs of these spacesuits, uh, as I said in my larger space shuttle review, which is just a couple of videos back, if you want to go check that out. And it's uh, just a really simple orange design. Uh, back up here, you've got, of course, the gold canopy for the helmet. And you can just take that all off in one piece. And then it reveals the rest of the spacesuit uh, design. Now, of course, it's got the little symbol there, which is the same, just less detailed as the one on the side of the ship. And the it's got a couple little locking mechanisms. So this right here would probably be a mechanism uh, for oxygen. Maybe it locks it into the front tank here, which you can see, which is really nice that they're kind of combining the two worlds of this piece and this piece, just to make it all kind of fit together into a realistic spacesuit. And then it's also got the locking mechanism thing up here, which would just, of course, uh, uh, kind of magnetize and secure the helmet so there's no oxygen leaks or anything, which would be really, really bad in the vacuum of space. And you don't get another oxygen hole in the back, just a little bit more detailing. And then that uh, uh, neck design uh, continues along the back. And then it's just a really basic Chase McCain face. So apparently Chase McCain got into the whole space business after being a police officer. If you don't, what I mean, if you don't know what I mean, check out the LEGO video games. It'll make sense then. So overall, I really like this set, especially for uh, $16 Canadian, $12 US. It's really, really good. And you get a lot of uh, playability out of it, lots of stories, and it 
if you're making like a space fleet or something, if you have all the sets, which uh, I don't have all of them, but I have quite a few of them, and it really looks nice and as like a, a space shuttle triad thing. It just, it works really, really well. So uh, before I end this video off, I'm going to shout out, shout out someone. Uh, they've just recently started their own YouTube channel, and it is some pretty good content, I must say. And that is Red Nation. Uh, you might know him under the name of uh, Noah the Gamer. Uh, he's been on the channel, he's been a member of TNN for a very, very long time. So I wanted to shout him out and get his channel kickstarted, which he doesn't need my help because it is already skyrocketing. So if you want to go check him out, uh, just... Uh, Red Nation, and then there's a few letters at the end, but I'm pretty sure you'll find him. So on that note, I would like to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!